What's up, everybody? Great Pirate Solomon here. And I'm coming with you, I'm coming to you with a um, special episode, a test episode. Um, planning to test out uh, running running dungeons as part of the dog meat and beef soil experience. Um, and I wanted to start off with the Dead Mines. It's a uh, it's one of the lowest level dungeons, as you can see, um, and it is uh, integral to the story, or it is, you know, heavily related to the story of um, uh, what's that place called? Westfall, <coughs> which was the uh, the first human zone that Dog Meat went off to. So where all the bums were out in the out in the plains, all the hobos and whatnot, and the uh, Vanessa Van Cleef. Resurrecting the Defias Brotherhood, whatever. So I wanted to do that, um, and you know, depending on how this works out, I'm gonna try to do all of the dungeons that are integral to the story. So like, of the first three dungeons that are available, Ragefire Chasm is not really, unless you do the Orc starting experience, which we did not on Beeswell, which we're not going to. Um, Wailing Caverns, on the other hand, is somewhat integral to the Baron storyline, so we'll probably end up doing that. Um, I'll do that on Beefswell, most likely. Um, I'm doing this on a wholly separate character, only because Dogmeat is already beyond the level uh, range for it. And um, I wanted to be able to queue up as a tank because I tried queuing up for this on Beefswell, and since he can only be a damage dealer or healer, the uh, queue time was too long, but with a tank, I'm gonna, gonna get an insta-queue. So let's go ahead and do that. More or less insta-queue. At least I should, I got one a minute ago, right before I started recording. Anyway, so this character is, you know, don't worry about it, I'm not gonna be doing this one in character uh, for the future ones, you know, maybe, whatever, we'll see. Uh, but I'm just going to kind of go through it so you can see the storyline. Uh, and of course now I'm not getting my insta queue. I've got a healer, and I got myself as a tank, but uh, no DPS apparently. One. Two more. Come on. One more. It should still be pretty quick. I sat in queue as a B swell for like 15 minutes waiting, and, uh, nothing. Yes, I'm a female panda. Deal with it. Come on, one more DPS. Just gonna stand up here. Because I can. Come on! This is one of the reasons that I was somewhat reluctant to put dungeons into the into the series, but I figure I'll make these standalone episodes in general, um, so they're not, you know, mushed into the um, into the regular Let's Plays. Um, I could theoretically edit out whatever weight I have, um, but I probably won't this time because it should still be relatively quick. Just waiting on one motherfucking DPS. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. And, uh, I will probably try to, like, fit these episodes into the playlists, um, so that this comes right at the end of Dog Meat's time in Westfall, um, and then do the same for whatever other dungeons that I feel are necessary to be run, which... Um, if I look at... Da, 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 da. So, let's see here. They're not in the order, unfortunately. Mary said we'll probably do Wailing Cavern. Stockade we probably will not do. Uh, Zulfarak, maybe. Stratholm, possibly. Shadowfang Keep, yes. Uh, Uldaman, maybe. Broken Temple, uh, I'm not sure. 
Sholo, yeah, probably. Uh, Razor Fen Downs, possibly. Razor Fen Crawl, possibly. Scarlet Halls, uh, maybe? Maybe not. Probably not, no. Uh, Ragefire, no. Mardon, uh, probably. Um, Lubers, um, maybe, probably. Nomer, uh, probably not. Though, maybe. I don't know. But probably not. I don't think it will really tie into any of the quests, uh, the, the zone questing. Uh, Dire Maul, um, possibly. Not sure. Possibly. Uh, Black Rock Deaths, uh, probably. Black Fathom Deeps, possibly. I kind of have to see how... I don't remember how all the zones go, how closely some of the dungeons are integrated into them. God damn it, I got a fucking Instacube for now. Stuck. Waiting. I hate waiting. Oh, we get a healer and a tank. How hard is it to find four fucking damage dealers? Or three damage dealers. This is ridiculous. But yeah, the reason I'm on this character is because it's the only, uh... Level 15 to 21, uh, tank-capable class I had handy. So, that's why you're a female panda. Or I'm a female panda. Perhaps I should practice my tanking moves since it's been a while. Hmm. Hey, you. <laughs> Simple enough. Yeah, that's right. You didn't like that deer. Stag. Whatever the hell you are. healer punks out, I swear to god. I will cut you, healer. I will find you in real life, and I will cut you. Yay. Yes, I wish to reset the data. Come on. Hey, friend. Looks like there's some questy quests over here, so we'll go get those. Might. I'm not going to try to read them right now. Mokra, may your blades never dull. Especially being what? a tank. On your way. Kind of have to, you know, keep up. Who's the healer? The shaman who's still standing over there. Yes. Well, don't want to get going before my healer's ready. All right, get your questy quests and let's go. I suppose I could have read them. Let's see. The goblins you'll find working with the Defias are officially traitors to the Bilgewater Cartel, the Shattered Hand, and the Horde itself. I haven't been initiated into the Shattered Hand, so my loyalties lie strongly with my people. Helix Gearbreaker apparently has no time for such associations and works on... Uh... Works on building a mast for the Defias Juggernaut. On behalf of Miss Mayhem and myself, would you kindly dispose of Helix? Alright, now who's not here? He seems to be here. Oh, the other shaman. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta wait for everybody. <clears throat> Alright, now I'm just gonna get started. Yeah, 
That's right, punks. Uh... Got you. First boss, Globetrock, who's apparently. Let's see. I miss the days when legions of powerful ogres matched by the horde side into the battle, pathetic alliance cowering in their ferocity. Uh, perhaps those days will return before I'm gone. And, however, that is not the case now. Mage, Club Truck has joined forces with the Despicable Defias Brotherhood and acts as foreman over their mining operations. The pathetic fool, end his life for me and the spirit for the and for the spirit and glory of the horde. Uh, buzzer blade? No, I don't need that. Do not be alarmed. I am close to you, waiting in the shadows. You've done well. You must confine continue the mission here, for I am too valuable to risk my life against petty criminals like these. Uh, okay. Whatever. time I'll uh, get the quests ahead of time and read them before I come into the dungeon. That way, you know, things work better. Where the hell are you going, healer? What are you doing? Good thing this is a really low-level dungeon, and um, I have some some self-healing. Uh, let's still attack. Okay. Well, I don't know why the healer decided he wanted to go and pull everything. seem to be doing all right, so whatever. Awesome. 
Is that supposed to be a joke? I mean, come on. Really? Don't smash me. I don't want to get smashed. Ouch. Shit. Riding dirty. That's right. Uh, no, I don't need mail. So that'll be agreed. Stunned all your asses. Let's see, none of these guys are. Oh, he is. These guys are just just hanging out over here. So whatever. If they're content to hang out and not do anything, I'm content to leave them alive. Hey, I dinged. I dinged on this character that I will most likely never play again. Good for me. But, I don't know. I suppose you never know when a random lobby might come in handy. Be a robot. Or not. Doing over there. I don't know. I'm confused. Wake up, boss. Is there something else to kill? Dead. <clears throat> Who's next? You? You all. Get over here. Yeah, 
That's right. Merc Sword of the Whale. What's so great about whales? Why do they get their own swords? Yeah, open that door. Oh, hi, guys. Hey, you. I want you dead. Alright, happy day. Greed, greed, greed. Alright, what's going on up here? Ooh, a pirate ship. Drop a lot of shit. Right, you want some too, huh? Fine, fine. All right, here we are. Well, of course, there's pirates on a pirate ship. Tab targeting used to work so much better, goddammit. Now I gotta, like, actually point at things. Such a hassle. Hey, friends! You want to play with me? Yeah, that's right. You're all goddamn dead. You're all dead. That's right. I get at us from all the way over there. How did he get aggroed? And why could I not target him? Alright, well, here's the boss. Uh, well, one of the bosses. A boss. Alright. Everybody ready? Fresh meat! Um. I mean, I guess if you like eating pandas, sure. You feel that chill running up your spine? No. Fog is rolling in. No. Oh. Yeah. Well, fog is rolling in. What do you know? <laughs> Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> I can smell your fear. I can smell your ass. How do you like that, pal? You're no dog meat. You're no dog meat at all. Well, I mean, technically you're about to be dog meat. But that's not what I meant. 
Oh, that sounds fun. Fun to be you. It's nice to get to do something fun, huh? That's so funny, you goddamn asshole. Find her until it is too late. Um, okay. Uh, 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 gotta do something else. Oh, here comes Captain Cookie. This guy looks cool. And he's cooking himself. Because, you know, that's what you do when you're a murloc pirate. Apparently. Van Cleef escaped. Do I need this thing? No, I already know it, and I don't need it at all. Let's see here. The Shattered Hand has laid mostly quiet for years now. No more. You will be the instrument of our rebirth. Slay the defiant kingpin and commandeer her ship for the Horde. We will outfit her, outfit it as a proper orc warship, and finally use it to lay waste the Stormwind. Any survivors will spread word of our unstoppable power across all of Azeroth, and all will tremble before our might. Go now. Van Cleef's death will be your greatest triumph yet, hero. Alright, so we at least got to read that one. We already read that one. These prototypes are going to change the face of Horde Warfare when I perfect them. The issue I've been having is that their power sources don't allow for complicated combat maneuvers or large frames, and both highly, both highly desired traits when it comes to fighting Alliance. The Defias, with some help from goblin traders like Helix, have almost completed the Faux Reaper 5000, a massive golem that will actually work. We can't have that going public, can we? I'll lose customers. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. Brilliant. Now all I have to do is finish my work, and my mayhem reapers will cause mayhem on any horde front, and there won't be any Defias knockoffs to steal my profits. Be good. Coward! Vanessa Van Cleef is a dirty human coward. How dare she flee from battle against the Horde and leave her untrustworthy, unworthy subordinate to fight? Kagatha composes herself. No matter. Her ship is reward enough. The citizens of Stormwind will bear first-hand witness to our awe-inspiring power using a ship made in part by the very architect of their city. Indeed. And I got a meat mallet. Don't waste my time. My employers do not take kindly to traitors. On the flip side, they are renowned for their kindness towards the loyal. You deserve to be rewarded. Hit the road! Alright. Alright, well, I guess that's about it, gang. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, I'm not sure how much I actually want to do this. It's very hard to actually concentrate while running a dungeon. It might be a little easier if I'm... Um, not tanking. That way I can kind of just sit back and enjoy the ride. But, uh, yeah, it's... I'm very distracted when I'm actually playing, so... I don't know. We'll see, um... We'll see. Uh, I'll try another one on Beef Swell for, uh, Whaling Caverns. And, um, we'll see how that goes as, like, a DPS instead. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, if you watched, and I will see you guys next time.